Hello Afton, I'm Wesley Bauckham. And I'm Ruth Ann Clements. Today is March 16th, 2016. So Super Tuesday came and went. Yep, the results are in and Evan covered it. On Tuesday, March 1st was Super Tuesday, where 11 states hold their presidential primaries, and there was massive results. On the Republican side, Donald Trump won Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Massachusetts, Tennessee, Vermont, and Virginia. Ted Cruz won Alaska, Oklahoma, and Texas, and Marco Rubio won Minnesota. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton won Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Massachusetts, Tennessee, Texas, and Virginia, while Bernie Sanders won Colorado, Minnesota, Oklahoma, and his home state of Vermont. I asked students and staff to see how they felt about the result. What I thought of the Super Tuesday results, obviously I'm a Bernie supporter, but it's, it's good to see where we can go from here in further debates in between Clinton and Sanders to see what we can do further to better the country. So I feel like Trump did a very good job of the well of the cruise, but I feel I wanted Marco Rubio to do a little bit better. Um, I was kind of disappointed to see the only one one state, but I mean it's better than not winning any state. I mean he gets third place in a lot of the caucuses, so it was kind of bigger for him to win that one, but I wanted to see him win more. So Super Tuesday was a, a crazy, crazy day, uh, I think, on both the Republican and Democratic side. On the Republican side, of course, uh, Donald Trump, the big winner. I think things are settling on the Democratic side, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's going to be Clinton, uh, but uh, there's still a lot of energy behind Sanders. So if uh, it does wind up being that Clinton is the nominee, will the Sanders supporters go with Clinton? It'll be interesting to see. Uh, who the Republicans wind up with and, of course, who the Democrats wind up with and how they process all of these current events like the Supreme Court vacancy. Even though Super Tuesday is over, I'm pretty certain the 2016 primaries still have a few surprises left for us. This is Evan Sheriff of Cougar News, signing out. Great story, Evan. Ruthie, do you play with Barbies? Uh, no. I'm 17 now. I'm an adult. Right, well, that's too bad because they came out with a new line of Barbies. Really? Yeah, let's cut to Cheryl's story on it. In 2016, there has been a new line of Barbie that incorporates every body type, tall, curvy, and petite, and also shows a variety of skin tones, eye colors, and hairstyles. I got some opinions about what other people think of this, and here's what I got. Um, I think it's cool that they're finally able to express themselves in different ways and uh, showing like real people instead of what they want the world to actually be and what it really is. You know, at first I thought it was a really great step forward. But then it occurred to me, why is it only dealing with women's bodies? You know, there's males, different male body types as well. You know, they can have a shorter and bigger guy too, but they only have one body type for the male, even if it's different ethnicities. As well as, why does it just have to be a male or a girl Barbie? That's what I'm considering. I agree with Danielle saying that I think it's a great thing they're doing for women, but I mean, there's only one type of body for men's Barbies, and they're like, I mean, even if they incorporate the different ethnicities, they're just, it's basically putting a coat of paint over the same Barbie. Yeah, I feel like they thought they took this big step, but really, we're just still in that same place. If you do it for one, why can't you do it for the other? That's the way I see it. That it's great that Barbie is coming out in different body types. Um, I would like to see that happen to Ken as well. Um, it'll be interesting to see what, if those who play with the dolls notice a difference. It kind of depends on how you look at it. Some people look at it as, as racism, but others look at it as a new vari variety to play with. Personally, I think the new line of Barbie is a really great idea because I know so many people, especially women that struggle with like eating disorders and body image, and it's just, it's really nice to have this collection that incorporates all different body types and races and everything that just, it shows that everyone is beautiful. This is Cheryl Moore from Cougar News, signing out. Wow, that was very informative, Cheryl. 
Wes, do you like animals? Sure do. Petting them, watching them, listening to them, feeding them, watering them. Okay, that's enough. Uh, the St. Louis Zoo might be buying Grant's farm. Taking them out on walks, hunting them, following them. Let's get to my story on it. Last Wednesday, March 2nd, Billy Bush delivered a business plan to his brothers and sisters stating how they should boost concession and bring in big events and big corporate sponsors to boost revenue so he can sustain his ownership of Grant's farm. There's also talks of a possible leasing and selling to the St. Louis Zoo. How do I feel about the Bush family selling or leasing some of Grant's farm to the zoo? I think it could be a good thing, especially if it allows some of the animals to have nicer, more open habitats and environments to live in. Um, I don't really think it's a good idea or a bad idea either way necessarily because I don't go to Grant's Farm a lot. Um, but I would like the prices to stay as low as they can possibly stay. Uh, so whichever one is going to keep the prices lower, that's probably the side I would go to. Um, I personally think that selling to the zoo is a bad idea. I think that it should stay with the original owners, so I fully support a raise in prices in order to keep Grant's farm. As of right now, the plans are still being worked out. This is Ruth Ann with Cougar News, signing off. Ruthie, thanks to you, I think I like animals even more now. Sure. Let's take a commercial break. Help put a stop to abuse. If you are being abused or know someone who is, visit safehorizon.org or call the domestic violence hotline. Have the trash cans been looking full to you recently? Well, they shouldn't be. Every classroom has a blue bin and every home has a black bin where you can recycle paper, plastic, and even tin. The more you throw into the gray garbage can, the bigger the dumps get and the more pollution it causes. The pollution will cause major health problems for future generations. Go to www.epa.gov for more ways that you can protect the environment. So uh, what were your thoughts on the new intruder drill? I thought it was really interesting. It was a lot different than what we used to do, but I think it's a lot safer in the long run. Yeah, same here. Uh, I felt like it was safer. Uh, definitely better than what we did last time. So, Let's cut to your story on the matter. Yep, let's do that. Very recently, we at Afton High and other schools in the Afton School District have experienced the new intruder drill procedure. A classroom can evade an intruder by barricading the doors and windows. They would do this by using the desks, file cabinets, whatever they can get their hands on. A classroom can escape by which they would escape campus and then go to a safe area. And the last resort would be to engage the intruder. But does this new procedure keep us safe? Um, we were taken into, we went through that conference room and into another room and we locked the doors shut there. Um, we barricaded the door and then we looked for our possible ways to keep the door closed. Mm, I don't know, there's a lot of factors that take place so there's not like a definite this is going to work and that's going to work, but I, it makes me feel safer, yes. Alright, that's actually... Um, maybe. Maybe it uh, it depends on what's going on, how many intruders, you know, mm -hmm. or however, you know, where it's at. really depends on where it's at. I do. Uh, with the discussions I've had with my students in class, they feel more comfortable now that we have a plan. I think it will work. I think if the students see that the teacher has a plan on how to either get out of the building, stay in the building, hunker down, whatever we're going to do, um, then they have a sense of security as well. 
Yes, I do. Um, depending on the situation, every person has to decide what they're going to do. Or classroom decides if they're going to leave, stay, barricade, uh, barricade and then leave. It just depends on the situation. Absolutely. This can save lives. You know, instead of the old way, that's what they found in disasters and in bad situations in the past in schools, um, some of the kids just all stayed in the library and they all stayed under a table. Well, that didn't really protect them. Um, if they would have had more information, you know, if they heard the intruder was at another end of the building, they would have time to get out of the building instead of just staying in fear and like in waiting. I think the advantage now, or the, the lens now, is to educate and not to upset people that this could happen, but I think it's realistic about the, the day and age we live in. Even if we do have some of our doubts at first, like with most changes, overall the consensus is, yes, we are safe. This is Wesley Bauken with Cougar News, signing out. Thanks for the story, Wes. No problem. And now it's time for the Cougar News Teacher of the Week. This week's Teacher of the Week is... Senora Julius. Senora Julius is one of Afton's two Spanish teachers. I got the chance to ask Julius about her career. Oh, okay. I've been at Afton for nine years now. I've gone to a few different colleges. I went to Harris Stowe. Um, after that, I went to uh, University of Central Missouri, and I even went to college in Mexico. Of course I love my job. I love coming here and, and working with the students and, um, well, speaking Espanol with them. I also asked a few of her students what they love about the class. What I like about Senora Julius is she goes over all the items we're supposed to learn a lot and when we don't understand she likes to uh, give us extra practice work so we eventually understand it. What I like about Senora Julius is that she gives us practices every morning which I mean if you study a lot you will understand the questions and sometimes she plays songs for us that makes us learn more and sometimes we do whiteboard items and other times we just mostly use our Chromebooks, which that's really helpful, at least for me. Um, she helps us understand things in Spanish if we don't understand it, and when we don't, she explains it thoroughly for us. And she um, she does songs, or she plays songs for us, so and plays TV shows so we know what's going on. And if we don't understand it, like I said, she just helps us. Senora Julius es un maestra bueno. This is Evan Sheriff of Cougar News, signing out. Thanks, Evan. In other faculty news, we here at Cougar News appreciate and recognize our art department. That's right. Jamie dives further into why the department is so important here at Afton. Hello, Afton. As many of you may have noticed, in the cafeteria, there is some new art. This mural was done by Miss Rocco's art classes. Okay, so this mural was made because the art teacher, Miss Rocco, threw a notice that this wall would be a great place to put a mural, you know, kind of bland, white, and all that, and overall I believe that we did a good job. For instance, I drew this guitar here, which I drew because it felt like it just fit in with what everyone else drew. People drew like eyes and computers, clocks and stuff, and I felt like it just fit in real well with the rest of the mural. It's a beautiful addition to our school and helps spruce up the space. This is Jamie Cottoff from Cougar News, signing off. Thanks for the story, Jamie. So it's that time of year again, and student council elections are on. Yep, and Cheryl did a story covering it. Student council is a government group of students. They do a lot for the school and teaches many things to the students, have better leadership skills, time management, probably things that you've already heard before. Uh, they're big on service to the community, and we do activities related to each of those things. Uh, next year, we're hoping to even add a leadership component to some of the members of student council for credit. Uh, this year, I had a really great time uh, being student council uh, president. 
And uh, it was really cool to see that students really do have a voice and we really kind of change uh, things that happen in Afton. So if you really have a problem that you think that needs to be fixed, I would highly suggest that you run for student council, uh, whether it's a president or just like a, a delegate for uh, your certain class, because in this seminar we really do decide what happens for homecoming, what happens for sports night, and so you can make Afton better for yourself and for everyone uh, that, that comes through these halls. I had a very good experience my first year of being in ex for student council. It taught me a lot about leadership and I had a lot of responsibilities that I had to balance with my schoolwork and I think is a very good experience for anyone interested in any type of leadership. And even if you're not, it's a very good learning experience on how to work with other people. Student council is about everything about the school. So we're like the student government and we do everything that the school needs, especially with school spirit and trying to get everyone involved with the school. The message that I have for anyone uh, running is to do your very best. Uh, put everything into it. If, you really, if, if people can see that you really want it, they'll vote for you. Um, I wouldn't, don't worry about speeches or anything like that. It is an important part, but you can have help. Uh, we have t teachers here, Ms. Miller, Ms. Allen, you can come to them, uh, ask them, you know, what they're looking for. And uh, students are really supportive of, of people that want to make a change. This is Cheryl Moore from Cougar News, signing out. Great story, Cheryl. Well, that about wraps it up. I'm Ruth Ann Clements. And I'm Wesley Balkum. And this is Cougar News, News signing, signing out. out.